yeah, I cut my hair all off. It's gone. Um, I did it probably like a week ago. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I like it a lot. Um, it's just something different because I've had my hair long for like two years. Um, so I just wanted to change and I'm really liking it. It's a lot easier to manage and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's kind of fun. If you guys want to see a video on like how to style short hair or anything, just let me know. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be doing this fall makeup tutorial showing you guys how I got this look. Um, I love fall. It's like one of my favorite seasons. Um, I just love the weather and all the leaves change and it's really beautiful. Um, and it means Christmas is getting close. So yeah, I had a great time filming this video. It was a lot of fun for me. I love doing fall makeup and stuff and like changing up my look. I want to do like some fall fashion videos too. So I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that or not, but I'm excited. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part about fall is. Please subscribe to this channel and I'm going to go ahead and get into the video now. For concealer, I just like to use foundation. I'm using the Tarte. Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. Um, I am in the shade Light Neutral. And I only take like a small amount of it. Um, and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. My under eye circles really aren't that bad, so like I don't have to put on a concealer usually. Um, but if you have like darker under eye circles, then I would maybe suggest using like an actual under eye concealer instead of foundation. But for me, it's just about like evening out my skin tone. I don't really need to brighten it up very much. Um, so yeah, and I like to put this down onto my eyelid as well, just to kind of cancel out any veins. And I have like a couple discolored areas that I'm just gonna add some foundation to. Um, and then I also like put some around my nose. Next I am just going to set all of that with a powder foundation. This is also from Tarte. It's the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And I just use a relatively small amount. I don't really like to pack it onto my face because I think less is more. Um, but sometimes if it's like a more fancy event, I will do like foundation, liquid foundation like all over my face. Also, sorry if I kind of have morning voice. I just woke up like not that long ago. For blush, there's like two options that I really tend to gravitate towards. I either use Orgasm from NARS or my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion. Um, it just kind of depends on what like kind of look I'm going for. I think today I'm going to use my Dim Infusion blush because um, I'm doing more of a bronzy eye so it kind of will just mesh better than like a pink blush would. So I'm just applying this to the apples on my cheeks and then dragging it backwards towards my temples. Now I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer because I do like to still warm up my face. I'm using Kula from Benefit and I'm just using a powder brush, any kind of brush you want to use will work and then just applying it like where my cheeks sink in right there in that little section and I think it works better if you only use like a little bit at a time and just build up the color instead of like using a ton on your like putting a ton onto your brush and then just like having like a really awkward looking line there it's better to like slowly blend it and then I put some under my jawline and onto my neck and then I'm also going to put some on my temples. I'm not really going to do this side because it's covered by my hair. Then I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay finishing powder. It's like a translucent powder and just take that all over my t-zone and kind of use it to blend in the bronzer as well. Um, just on my nose, not over here. I just kind of will go like below the bronzer on the side and it kind of helps just like soften it up a little bit and make it more defined. Now I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm using the Maybelline Master Shape Brow Pencil, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but my Anastasia one ran out, so I'm just using this in the meantime. If you guys want to see a video on how I do my eyebrows and like the products I use and 
you know, how I like maintain them and stuff, let me know. I'm probably going to do one soon because I get a lot of questions about my eyebrows. Okay, next I am going to work on my eyeshadow, which is like my favorite part. I always get super excited. Um, oh, but before I move on to that, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, um, which I think I've used in several videos now. And I'm just going to use that to set my eyebrows into place. I am going to start out with the MAC Groundwork Paint Pot. You can use any kind of paint pot you want that's like somewhat brown toned. Um, you can use like a, one for Maybelline or, you know, anywhere. And I'm just using my finger and applying this all over my lid up to the crease. This is pretty much like a skin tone shade, so it's not going to show up all that much, but I just use it because it's a good base to have your eyeshadow stick to. So now I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible um, Eyeshadow in Amber Rush, and this is like the perfect color for fall. It's a very like kind of burnt copper color. It's really pretty. Um, and I'm just going to use like a flat shader brush, tap off excess. And then I'm just going to pat it onto my eyelid to avoid like getting a bunch of shot eyeshadow like falling down onto my face. And it gives like this really cool um, foiled effect to your eyes, which I personally love. It's really fun. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go this intense with it on like a daily basis, but like if I feel like wearing more makeup than usual or something. Um, this is really fun to do. I'm going to be using the MAC eyeshadow in Patina, which is just kind of like a, it's like a brown color with a little bit of shimmer. Um, it's, I believe it's a satin eyeshadow, but yeah, I'm just going to apply this into the crease. And um, actually, I'm going to use the Naked palette. For one little thing, I'm going to use the shade Half Baked, which is this gold color here. You can use any gold color you want, but I'm just going to use a little bit of that over top of the like outer half of my eyelid just to kind of help warm it up a little more. And it will kind of give it a nice like gradient effect. And then I'm going to use my crease brush, the fluffy one, and, whoa, <laughs> um, and I'm going to use some of the shade Buck. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of the lid color on my lower lash line. Just to add something down there. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use some liquid eyeliner and do a wing. It's really hard to do winged eyeliner when you're just learning. But with some practice, it gets really, it'll get easier and you'll eventually be able to do it. Why do I sound like a man right now? Um, sorry if you can't see this. I just literally cannot do this without a mirror. Okay, so that's pretty good, I think. Um, and then I'm going to be using this new mascara. It's the Maybelline mascara. Um, I've never tried this, and I think it's, yeah, it's new, and it's the Falsies Push-Up Drama, and I thought the packaging looked really cute, so I'm excited. It says Pushed Up Lashes, Dramatic Volume, and Lift, so this should be interesting. I don't know if it's like a plastic wand, or like plastic bristles, or like rubber. This is what the brush looks like, Oops. and yeah, I'm going to try it now. So far, after the first coat, I'm not really that impressed. It's kind of clumpy. For my lips, this is the Inglot Lip Liner in the shade 74. Um, but you can use like any lip liner really. Use anything that matches your lip color. A lot of times I will use the Kate Moss Lipstick in the shade number 11. And it's like a dark red color. Then sometimes I use the shade Captive from MAC, which is more of like a berry color. And I think I'm going to use this one today, just so you guys can kind of see. It's a little bit more subdued than the Kate Moss one, because that one's really dark.
Okay, so this is the final look. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. The links will be in the info box. My Instagram is right here. It is at Beauty by Hales. And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to leave me requests in the comments. I always read the comments and reply. I love getting comments from you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!